These are not the droids you're looking for. Wait, sorry, yeah, these are the droids you're looking for. Meet R2-D2 and R2-D2 and R2-D2? He's what kind of drove the whole story, him and C-3PO. You know, it was really telling their story uh, and everyone else was just kind of extras. Jamie McShann with Central Texas Droids remembers back to 1977 when he developed a lifelong admiration for the Skywalker's spunky droid. When I saw R2-D2 on screen, I knew someday I had to, have, had to have my own. Now he's built his own. Central Texas Droids is made up of local Star Wars fans who work in web development and IT. The group is part of a worldwide network of R2-D2 builders who share blueprints and building techniques. We will go in together and order parts from a machine shop if we need to. A lot of it is uh, outsourced to machine shops or custom built in people's garages. You know, a lot of it is made out of wood or fiberglass or metal. McShan says it took him about two years to get his R2 up and running. He's added some gadgets to him since then. So how do they work? We basically took uh, the motors and the wheels out of kids' scooters. Uh, we made sure the kids were off of them first. And uh, that's what we put in the drive system. Remote control allows us to drive them around. Uh, turn his dome, make all those different sounds. And those sounds are straight from a galaxy far, far away. Lucasfilms has been very uh, helpful with us. You know, they have provided us with sounds, they provided us with measurements. Not all R2-D2s look exactly alike. This is your classic R2-D2 from the films, but this little guy is a steampunk R2-D2. It's made out of copper and bamboo flooring. There's even a meat slicer on this somewhere. If you've seen The Force Awakens, you'll know BB-8 is a new fan favorite. He's a little bit of a technical marvel, but McShan is working on building him, too. It's a very tricky thing. Very expensive magnets, so it's going to be fun. Central Texas Droids was set up at the STEAM Festival on Saturday in East Austin. That's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. McShan says he enjoys seeing kids recognize R2-D2 from the movies, smile, and then he gets to explain how he works. It's just great. You can see them thinking in their heads, you know, I can build this, you know, I can do that. So it's really inspiring.